Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Managing Existing Infrastructure Services. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the ongoing management functions that are possible through the vCloud Automation Center self-service portal. This demo includes some basic navigation as well as managing both single and multi-machine services. In the prior demo, we showed you how new resources were requested and provisioned. In this demo, we're going to show you how users manage their existing resources. These are just some of the commands that authorized users can initiate from the self-service portal. The administrator defines the policies in the blueprint as well as the service entitlement, which define what users can initiate which commands for each type of resource. As you can see, there are quite a few ongoing management commands that can be initiated via the self-service portal. In this demo, we're going to focus on three specific tasks reconfiguring a machine's compute resources, adjusting the number of component machines in a multi-machine applications, and creating and managing machine snapshot copies. To manage existing resources, click on the Items tab. This will bring up the Items display. Depending upon the resources that you have provisioned, you may have applications, machines, or other IT resources. Clicking on the Machine command lists all the machines that I currently own. The actions that are available for each machine are specific to the user and the type of the machine. Now that we have the basic navigation down, let's look at how to reconfigure the CPU, memory, storage, and network resources allocated to an existing virtual machine. The first task we want to complete is to reconfigure a machine's resources. I select the machine and then execute the edit command to initiate the process. The edit command allows the user to change attributes of their machine within the governance policies established by the group manager or tenant administrator. The attributes are divided up into multiple tabs. The machine information tab provides the descriptive information about the machine and allows the owner to adjust resources like CPU and memory. Let's increase CPU from 1 to 2. The storage tab allows me to edit attributes of existing drives or add new volumes. For our demo, we're not going to change any of the storage configuration. The Network tab allows the user to edit properties of existing network adapters or add new network adapters from those available. The Execution tab allows the user to schedule when the reconfiguration operation will take place. The options are either immediately or on a scheduled basis. We will schedule when our change will be implemented. The user can also choose if they want the machine to shut down, power off, or remain on during the reconfiguration process. When complete, click Submit to initiate the changes. After successfully submitting your change, the Request tab allows you to monitor the status of your reconfiguration request. Another common management request is to create a snapshot of a VM. For example, if you want to create a point-in-time copy of your machine before you perform an upgrade. Multiple snapshots can be created depending upon the policies specified by the administrator for this machine. Let's look at how authorized users request new snapshots or manage existing snapshot copies. To initiate a virtual machine snapshot, click on the machine name in the list of machines displayed on the Items tab. This will display the detailed configuration of the machine selected. Next, click on the Snapshot tab. This machine currently has no snapshots. To create a new snapshot, click on the New Snapshot button in the upper right corner of the Details display. Next, you will be prompted for a name and a description for your snapshot copy. We are going to use the default name, which contains date and time, and enter a description. Click OK to initiate the snapshot. The snapshot executes immediately. Snapshots complete in a matter of seconds. You can watch the status or close the display and move on to other tasks. You have now successfully completed creating a snapshot. Each virtual machine can have multiple snapshot copies. This VM has two snapshot copies. How many copies each machine can have and how long those snapshots exist are controlled by the blueprint policies. To revert back to a specific point in time, for example before the OS upgrade, apply the specific snapshot copy. This completes our look at snapshot management. Up to now we have shown you how to manage single machine services. Let us now look at how to manage a multi-machine service. Multi-machine services can be managed as a single entity or individual component machines can be managed separately. 
In the machine's display, the plus sign indicates a multi-machine service. Clicking the plus sign expands the list to display the component machines. I can manage each of the component machines individually by clicking on the component machine name, or I can manage the multi-machine service as a single entity using the action commands. These commands, like power on and off, will be performed against all component machines that make up the multi-machine service. Let's execute the add component command to see how to add additional component machines to a multi-machine service. The add components dialog displays a table of the different types of component machines that I have in the service. It contains information about each component machine type, including how many machines are currently provisioned. The first step is to select the type of component machine that I want to add. This displays all of the attributes of the component machine type that I want to add. In our example, I'm going to increase the number of web servers by one, then click Submit to initiate the request. I can then monitor the status of the Add New Components action using the Request tab, and then view the new component machine after the Add Component operation completes. This concludes the overview of vCloud Automation Center's infrastructure management capabilities. While I have shown you a number of possible commands, what each user is allowed to do with their machines is controlled by the service blueprints and the entitlement policies. These policies are granular enough to create a personalized self-service experience such that two people in the same group with the same role may have very different management capabilities. To see how the administrator defines these policies, we recommend that you watch videos on configuring Cloud Automation Center blueprints and service entitlement policies. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.